Every year, Madison Metropolitan School District school buses are inspected to make sure emergency exits, brakes, and other crucial components are intact. The News 3 Now dug through two years of inspection records to see if problems identified in those annual checkups are actually being fixed. Amy Reed shows us what the investigation found. Amy? State law requires every school bus be inspected at least once a year. During these inspections, they check essentials, emergency exits, brakes, steering, and general safety. And we wanted to see if these problems inspectors find are actually getting fixed. This is what we found. Inspector Ruth Butterbrot has done this a while. Checking the ins, outs, and underneath of school buses. I like uh, making sure these vehicles are maintained and kept safe. She takes notes of the problems she finds as she goes. I found some seat holes, some padding that had shifted. Later putting that into a formal inspection report. Okay. Most of the buses she checked the day we followed her in Stoughton passed the inspection no problem, but one, this one was out of service, had to be pulled. The two years of records we went through followed about the same pattern. Only about one and a half out of every 10 buses had to be pulled from service, and most buses we checked had no or only minor problems, some fixed during the inspection, but others were let go despite not meeting federal standards or showing issues with the brake system or emergency exits like a broken hinge and even though the report says issues need to be fixed within five days we found some buses who had the same problem listed multiple years in a row like this one first aid kit put in an unlabeled compartment even fixed during the inspection the next year same issue badger bus lines the company contracted for madison schools said these reoccurring issues are a coincidence telling me they fix issues promptly and give preventative maintenance in Madison Metropolitan School District, there are 135 buses in its fleet, and they're running constantly. That everyday wear can lead to repeated issues, they said. A spokesman for State Patrol said in an email to me, like any motor vehicle, school bus components can wear and break over time. In general, school bus carriers have excellent maintenance programs. He said school buses are pulled if they pose an imminent hazard condition. Which is what we saw with Ruth. Anytime one of those emergency windows opens, an alarm should sound to make the driver aware. When the emergency exit window didn't do what it was supposed to, she watched as the mechanic made fixes or else pulled the bus out of commission. Usually they like to fix them while I'm here if it's something they, they can do within a short period of time. Finally, he gives the go ahead and she checks again. This time, it's a pass. Hey. <laughs> She's happy to get the bus back on the road issue free. Good. Until maybe she sees it again next year. Any issues found in these inspections need to be fixed within five days or else State Patrol can issue a $200 citation. But it's on the bus company to make sure it's done. Otherwise, these violations are found on spot checks or if someone calls it in. Since 2018, State Patrol has issued 134 citations across the state. And we reached out to Madison Metropolitan School District to get their perspective on this. They did not get back to us. Amy Reed reporting tonight. Amy, thank you very much. And still